I'm Evan O'Hanlon. I'm a 238 athlete down here in London. Uh, I'm racing tomorrow night in the 100m final at 9.05. It's a BDLB square. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got that T38, it means I have cerebral palsy. The T stands for track because I compete on the track. If I was competing on the field, I'd have an F in front of my number. So the T stands for track. The 3 stands for the fact that I have cerebral palsy, and the 8 is the severity of that cerebral palsy. Personally, my cerebral palsy affects the whole left side of my body, but it's very, very mild. I, can, I consider myself very lucky. So, when I line up at the, in the 100 metres tomorrow night, I'll be against guys competing against guys that have about the same disability as me, because we're categorised so that it becomes a fair race. Uh, I was born with my cerebral palsy. Well, Cerebral palsy is basically brain damage, and for those of you who don't know, and here is a picture of my brain. Uh, I'll show it again in a sec, just next time you have a look. Uh, the white patch on my brain is actually the damage to my brain, so it's a fair size. Here it is again. So it affects the whole left side of my body, and it has since birth. Uh, basically what happened was I was a normal normal baby inside my mum, kicking around, doing backflips, somersaults, whatever you do to annoy your mum, uh, and all of a sudden I just stopped moving, and mum thought the worst, so she went to the hospital, we get it checked out, went to the doctor, the doctor said everything's fine, went home, and uh, two years, uh, so yeah, I was born, nothing seemed wrong, two years later, back in hospital, I had really bad asthma, and it just happened that I had a really switched on doctor looking after me, he came in and uh, I had a big drip in my right arm, big needle, and it should be pretty uncomfortable for a baby. And even though it was in my right arm, I was still eating with that hand. And the doctor pointed it out to my mum and he said, uh, what's going on there? Why is he using his right hand? That should be pretty uncomfortable. And my mum said, well, he's right-handed. And the doctor turned around and explained to her that actually at that age you don't have a preferred hand, so I should have switched to my left hand just to be comfortable. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty lucky. They sent me off for some scans and it came back that I had that damage on my brain. And from then on in, we've known that I've had cerebral palsy. Uh, yeah, that's basically my story. I'm racing at 9.05 tomorrow night in the T38 100 meter final. Watch it and don't blink.